So I've spent over a month with the Calafour beverage and wine fridge. And I have to say, I'm Matthew Horky. For the last seven years, I've traveled around the world tasting thousands of wines annually in search of the most unique, exciting, and expensive bottles on the planet. So at the beginning of the year, I got this random email from this company called Cala Fort. They said, hey, do you want to review our wine fridge? I've never owned a wine fridge before. I've rented apartments that had built-in wine fridges. I've went over to a friend's house that had them, and I always thought, oh, that's really cool. It just looks nice. And since I hadn't heard of the company before, I went back and forth. I really thought about it. Was it really going to be a good product? Is it something I could recommend to you? And I have to say the answer to all those questions is yes. I get a lot of requests to review some products on this channel, sometimes some strange requests that have nothing to do with the niche, but I thought that this made sense. But to make sure that this was a good product, I went and researched it on Amazon and I checked out all the verified reviews. People were really pleased. I emailed Califort back and said, okay, send it over. So I had my pick of what fridges I wanted to review. I chose a dual fridge system, one with a beverage cooler where you could put beer, soda, water, and then the wine fridge. They're the 15 inch Califort model. So the fridge comes in two boxes, one for the beverage and one for the wine cooler. Make sure once you get the fridge to let it stand upright for about 24 to 36 hours. That allows the coolant to settle down. The standalone model is two units. It comes with the brochures, the handle, the hinges to reverse the doors. More on this feature later. Note, to put on the doors, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. You remove some of the gasket and then find the screw, which is in the middle of the door. That's where you screw in the handle. Reversing the doors and putting on the handle is the only assembly you'll need. And as of right now, it's only available in the US, so I'm sorry this is going to be in English measurements and in Fahrenheit, not Celsius. So each fridge is a little bit over 22 inches deep, about 15 inches wide, and 34 inches in height. There's adjustable screw legs and there's adjustable shelves. They have two models of this unit. They have a built-in system where both coolers are attached. I chose the freestanding model because at the end of the day, I'm just going to give the beverage cooler to my mom, my sister, and my nephews. The beverage cooler has an adjustable temperature from 34 degrees Fahrenheit all the way to 54 degrees. For the wine cooler, I chose the dual climate system. The bottom zone is a little bit bigger. The top zone takes up about a third of the fridge. The temperatures go anywhere from 40 degrees up to 65 degrees Fahrenheit. Now let's talk about capacity. So in the beverage cooler, I did manage to fit 70 cans of soda and then four bottles of water on the bottom shelf. The capacity for the wine fridge is supposed to be 21 bottles. I got 20 in there. Maybe you can squeeze squeeze and stick some more in there. I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but I chose a smaller model. They actually wanted to send me a wider one. If you're gonna use this for wine only, I would go for the wider one. I think it's the 24 inch if you want more wine storage. I already have a proper cellar. It's cool, it's dark, it's damp, it's underground, natural cellaring conditions. It's constant throughout the year. It's humid, it's actually an old bomb shelter. At the end of the day, sometimes that shelter floods. I have to wear water boots to get in there. It's dark. Sometimes it can be difficult to find the bottles that I wanna get out. That's why I enjoy having this wine fridge. I absolutely love the fact that it's right there. I can put bottles that I'm gonna consume relatively quickly or within the next couple of months. If you host a lot of parties, it's kind of a cool separator to go ahead and put the wines in that fridge that you're going to open that night, not have to keep going out to your cellar, digging out expensive things. I've been to a lot of wine tasting parties where people are very generous and they want to get things out of their cellar, but sometimes it's just super difficult. Or I've been to parties where people are a little apprehensive <laughs> to share those good bottles. So this is like a bulletproof option for both. <laughs> At the end of the day, it looks really good. The doors are polished stainless steel. The handles have brushed finish. Hey, if you want want to have a wine fridge but your spouse says no 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 you can kind of coerce them into getting something like this because there's a beverage fridge as well <laughs> looks great in a modern kitchen or standalone like i have it that's the bottom line it just looks really really sharp a feature that i didn't think would be that important to me is the led lights which you can actually change color i think it's a phenomenal feature my nephews are actually hooked on switching up those lights but it just looks really sharp. You can change it, you can turn it off, you can change it depending on the mood. As for noise, I saw an Amazon verified purchase where it said that the fans were running 24 seven. I did not find that to be the case with my fridge. I've had it out in open space, but not monitoring it. The fans do not go the entire time. When the fans do get going to cool down the fridge, there is a little bit of noise, but I did a little comparison here of the wine cooler fridge fans versus my refrigerator fans. Take a listen. 
Another thing I like is the temperatures are accurate. Average fridge, pretty standard, 37 degrees. It's just like a mini fridge. Temperature's constant. My nephews absolutely love it because they can keep all their soda and their Gatorade in there. I know, I know, they shouldn't be having all that sugar. But what can you do? This wine fridge is dual climate control. The bottom shelf for reds, I had at 55. The top one, I had at 40. When I put the thermometer in, the bottom one was exactly 55 degrees. The top one was about 46 degrees, it looked like. Now, I am going to cut them some slack here. I had the thermometer right up against the window, not back with the wines. I did notice when I pulled white wines from the fridge, they were cooler than red wine. It's also a great option for people that don't have a cellar. It's so nice to have wine at the proper temperature. I always find the problem when I put wines in the regular fridge, you bring them out and they're way too cold, especially if they're red wines. You have to wait a while for them to warm up and they just don't warm up evenly or they take a little bit longer. I didn't think I'd need it because I have a basement and I have a proper cellar, but I found that I really enjoyed pulling wines out of the fridge. Even just the process of opening up the fridge, taking it out, looking at it, I don't know, it just felt really nice. Who is this not for? Maybe somebody that already has a cellar or maybe somebody that just buying wine off the shelf and drinking it immediately. Honestly, besides the fact if you don't want to spend money, and if you're into wine, you're watching this channel, it's kind of a nominal expense to really enjoy something you're passionate about, something we're passionate about, which is wine. What I don't like is I had the freestanding systems, so the fridge doors were all on the same side. I had to unscrew, unbolt the hinges, and switch the door around. That was a little bit of a pain in the butt. I know the built-in <laughs> fridge, I think it's already set up, so both the doors open from the middle. Got the floor, maybe you could fix that, but I understand why you do that. You can switch it you can have versatility and moving the fridges from into different positions different size that just for me was a little frustrating i've honestly really enjoyed using the fridge the 15 inch model runs anywhere from 600 dollars from for the single climate to to around 660 dollars for dual climate if you want both the beverage and the wine fridge combination we're talking about 1200 dollars tyler for extended an offer to you people that watch this channel if you use my code mh you can get 15 percent Yes, 15% off any of their fridges on the website. You'll find that code in the link to the website in the description below. And full disclosure, if you choose to purchase with that discount code, I do get a small commission. It helps the channel out a lot. I really appreciate it. So I'd love to know, how do you store wine? Do you have a built-in cellar? Do you just put it in a closet? Do you put it in a regular fridge? Or do you have a special wine fridge? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon.